Welcome. I am so glad you're here tonight. Um, we are glad you're here. This is actually kind of a growing team sort of a thing. And uh, we really appreciate you guys coming out. I know many of you were just invited and you don't even know what this thing is about and you're kind of checking it out. And uh, I want to say thanks to everybody who invited someone. And um, so what we plan to do tonight, we want to share some stories of what is happening with Health and Hope and um, then share what it is and how it all works and then uh, give you an opportunity to ask questions or get involved. So um, we're going to start out though uh, right here at the beginning. Oh, actually, I just wanted to say one more thing. Um, in front of you on the table are these little cards. You can fill those out throughout the evening um, or, the, or our time together here. And at the end, we're going to do a drawing. And so we want to give you an opportunity to win some stuff. And so if you want to fill those out, we'll collect all those at the end and uh, draw for some door prizes. All right? Um, so we're going to start out with a couple of stories. And we're going to start out with Amy Lozer. Amy, if you want to go ahead and just come on up. And um, Amy has been using our program. Well, actually, I'm going to just go ahead and let you share. When did, when did you start? You I started, you yep, October 10th was my first day on the program. So I started October 10th at 199, and today I was 162. Woo. So, wow. In all fairness, I have taken a few what I like to call breaks. <laughs> um, I went to Florida a couple of times and lived it up and felt like crap pretty much the whole time, but I lived it up. So um, yeah, it's been really exciting. On top of the weight loss, I sleep so much better. My Lululemons that were skin tight now are baggy, which is kind of a hard problem because they're not really the most inexpensive leggings that I own, but they are comfortable. But um, another really cool thing for me and my family, I'm, I'm a mom of almost 10-year-old twins. They say they're 10, they're almost 10. But, um, and my husband is six foot nine and always has been thinner. Um, but Peter has lost an entire pant size um, through this just from eating healthy um, he wanted me to share that although he's not on program, he loves following this as well. He doesn't have the breakouts and things like that. Um, I'm a coach for my kids' softball team, and yesterday I was running wind sprints without a problem. So having lost a good amount of weight is super helpful. Um, I just told my friend Tracy, this is what I'm calling a marathon for me, though. Um, I actually started a health journey last January, so I have, I had prior already lost a little bit of weight and had hit a plateau and just wasn't really sure where else to go. I've, I've done all the other programs and diets and it just was continually coming right back. And so for me, the ease of program and understanding why things are working, not just like do it because we're saying you should do this, has been so helpful. So I'm Super thankful for Mylan and his constant encouragement. Um, and when he hasn't had the answer right off the bat that he has coaches that he gets to call and say, hey, I have this client. I'm not really sure what to tell her. Like, can you help me out? So I am a success story of the Optivia program as a whole, which has been really exciting for me. So can't wait to keep going. Absolutely. How much, how much farther do you want to go with your weight journey? So the goal for me as like a number journey, I'd like to hit 149, which would be 50 pounds lost on program. That's awesome. So hopefully by May 1st is, yeah. is the goal for that. So yeah. She yeah. is doing so well, and we also love, again, the, 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 what we call the non-scale victories. So the scale victories are great, but at the end of the day, the reason we lose weight is because it makes us feel better, and it clears up a lot of issues that we have, and mm -hmm. it makes life um, more doable, and yeah. lots of different reasons. So, yeah. great job, Amy. Thank Thanks. you so much yeah. for sharing Thanks your story. For me. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> All right, and then um, I want to ask Jerry, and, I, and actually Jerry has shared his story a couple of times, um, but in particular, Jerry, I want to ask you to share a little bit um, about a, an appointment that you had recently uh, with somebody who is looking at your feet. Can you give us a little bit of background and tell us what that's all about? Well, I'm a diabetic. I used to be a practicing diabetic. I'm about to get out of that business, but I'm still there a little bit. But I have a foot doctor that looks after my feet for me. And 
she's expressed a lot of interest in uh, my progress. Uh, she's amazed by my feet, of all things, okay? Um, I took some pills to help my gut through her probiotics, okay, a while back for 90 days, and I didn't see any change, but she saw some, okay, some being a keyword. But then when I started this program, uh, uh, after she saw me at my second appointment, after I'd already been doing this for a period, she was blown away. Not just physically, the size of me being less than what I was, but the condition of my feet. Uh, uh, she says my blood pressure she can see is better because of uh, the fungus that I had growing under my nails is just about completely gone because my gut health, not from her health, but from the help from this, is better than what it was. Uh, and I struggled uh, with this diabetic part. Um, I was told I had no choice. Uh, my next step, the medicines weren't doing anymore, and he wrote me a prescription, my doctor did, for insulin injections. And uh, shoot me with a gun. I'd rather have that happen, I mean a gun gun, than tell me I gotta stick myself with a needle. Because I just, I don't have whatever it takes, I just, so anyway, but I fooled him, there is another avenue. There is another approach. So when I went back to him, my, my doctor for my checkup, he, I, my A1C went from 8.8 8 to 5.3. <clears throat> uh, my daily sugar now is under 100. I don't even have to try. You know, I used to work hard to get to 120 and, and couldn't shoot this much. I couldn't look at certain things that would make my sugar go up. Uh, but now it's, I do cheat. <laughs> Every once in a while, and, it, and it's not a huge setback, but I had what we called a dry spell, we'll say, okay? Around Christmas time, imagine that, where I, my weight loss had started to just level off. And I was, I, what do I say? But then I think about it, okay? I didn't cheat big, but yet you're violating portions of the system. You're adding your own part to it. Well, then it doesn't work as well. But let me tell you a little secret. I can honestly stand here in front of you and say, I'm 71 years old this month, but I lost 60 pounds. Okay? And down, um, this is my new pair of pants that I bought Saturday, and it's another size. I look so bad, apparently, after I lost a bunch of weight in the beginning, she bought me a pair of pants. <laughs> but this is a second set down. Uh, I feel better, I sleep better, I have more energy. Uh, I'm trying to find something negative. If you create your own rules, that's the only negative part about this because it doesn't work as, de as it's designed to. And then don't expect it to because you've been put your own. But if you do as you're supposed to, and it's not hard to do. I've done a lot of things in my life. I was a professional drug user for a long time and still didn't have the success rate I'm having with this. <laughs> Does that make sense? <laughs> That's all I got. He was my first client and uh, he, he said, he, he came to me right away and said, I, I, gotta, I gotta give this thing a try. Told me about the conversation he had with his doctor. He said, something. there's gotta be another way. And so we've been able to watch this journey, and that's been super fun. Thanks, Jerry. Oh, thank you. All right. Uh, next, I have a father-daughter combo. We've got Doug and Jamie. And uh, I'm going to ask you guys to just come on up, uh, if you wouldn't mind. They're very new at this. Um, what day did you guys start? Jan Jan or January 1. January 1. Yeah, you guys started right at the beginning of this year. So why don't you guys both come in so we can get you in the frame. But, um, yeah. but they've, been, they've been having some really great success. And, and why don't you guys share your scale and your non-scale victories? Well, so far, Jamie and I, we, we each lost about 30 pounds so far mm -hmm. in just over a month. Sounds so we're lot. very happy about that. Great. And um, it's a program that works. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I tried other things, not other things, but I tried to do it by myself and stuff. And 
Yeah, I'll quit having pop or I'll quit having the pizza or whatever. It just doesn't work. Well, we both tried medications as well. We tried right? medications too. and, and um, Wait comes back. But this just seems to work well. And, and um, um, I had a hard time going up my steps by my house. I'd always do something at the bottom of the steps. I wouldn't have to go up so many times. And now I'm going up there all the time. Yeah. You know? And what I did is I, I took um, barbells, like a 20 pound weight, a 10 pound weight, and put that on here and started trying walking up the steps. And it, it was hard. Yeah. You just don't realize how much 30 pounds really is. That's right. So, yeah. And I saw Jerry's uh, thing on the internet. And Amy, she came in the store one day, and I said, "Man, you're looking good," you know. And she told me what she was doing, and I thought, "That's what I got to do." Yeah. And I was sick of going to the doctor, taking all my clothes off before I got on that scale because I didn't want to get to that one point. You know, oh, yeah. And the doctor never said nothing to me, but I knew. Yeah. My next, the next, like if you're, I don't want to say what I was, but if I was 110 pounds. The next one was 120. I didn't want to get to that point. Yeah. And so I had to do something. Yeah, but anyway, it's cool. Yeah. So Jamie and I decided to do it together. Yep, sounds and, great. And the plan really isn't that hard to follow. Yeah. And um, the food's not that bad. And it's really not that bad. <laughs> no. no, no. So anyway, that's yeah. our story. I'm gonna yeah. start with. Yeah, love it. it. Anything okay. else, Jamie? Twenty-nine point three pounds. That's awesome. awesome. Today and. Yeah. 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 By tomorrow or the next day, right? That's right. That's right. right. That's right. Yeah. You guys, thank you We so appreciate much. it. Thank you so yeah, much. We appreciate it. it. You bet. So, like I mentioned a few minutes ago, it's, it's really about our overall general health. And um, it's so important to understand that big picture. Now, we, we've got a, a couple of other people here. And I think because of time, I think we're going to go ahead and um, move ahead with more of the program. Um, we had a video that we could show, but you're going to have to come back next week. We've got a, a video story. Um, we've got a couple of other people that are ready to share their stories. And um, so we're, we're going to continue to share those stories um, in coming weeks. But um, I want to ask uh, Jamie and Kim to go ahead and come on up. Kim and Jamie are my coaches, and uh, they've been doing this for how long? Almost eight years. Almost eight years. Yeah. And they live out in Idaho, and they're here uh, in town this week. We've been kind of working on this uh, for a couple of weeks. And they have been just amazing. They've been incredibly helpful to me and encouraging to me and, um, and now helping me help other people. And that's really, I mean, for me, I, my journey started in July, and um, I lost a bunch of weight, and I felt so much better. I literally felt 20 years younger. And, uh, and I was just like, I've got to share this with other people. And so thank you guys for helping me. And now you guys can all be thankful for them helping me and then helping us. And that's kind of the way it works. Yeah. Uh, it just cascades down. So yeah. I'm going to hand this off. And they got a whole bunch of stuff to share with you guys tonight. So let's hear it for Kim and Jamie. I actually just want to say real quick, that whole ripple effect that he's talking about, is what's so incredible about this because we didn't start this. Actually, we have coaches and our coaches have coaches. And so this actually started for us almost eight years ago. I went on program, lost 25 pounds, which I toyed around with the idea for a long time. I kept saying, I, get, I got this, I can do this on my own, I can do this on my own. And I wasn't doing it on my own. And so I followed the same program that my coach followed and that their coach followed. and. It's just incredible. Now it has reached literally hundreds and hundreds of people. And I love that we get to change the trajectory of people's lives. Like to me, there's nothing else like changing and impacting someone's life so incredibly profoundly that it changes their generations, be the next generations on, um, just by simply changing nutrition and helping coaching them on a journey, which is super simple. And so anyway, we're gonna share more about this and I'll let you take it from here. All right, well, thank you for the testimonies. I, yes. They never get old. We've heard them so many times over the last eight years and everyone has a different story. And I love the stories. They're a great reminder of the power of honestly nutrition. And what you'll find is you'll hear people that have gone to doctors and tried all these things and never once were told, have you tried working on your nutrition? Have you tried eating healthy? 
And here's a powerful graphic, and I know probably in the back you can't see it, so I'll just tell you some of it. But these are the kinds of things that we've seen over the years. What happens is when you reach a healthy weight, here's actual documented statistics of many type of ailments that are resolved by getting healthy. Have you heard of people having depression? 55% resolved when you get healthy. Sleep apnea, 74 to 98% resolved by getting to your ideal weight. Asthma, 82% improved or resolved. Cardiovascular disease, 82% risk reduction. Hypertension, GERD, degenerative joint disease, gout, type 2 diabetes, we heard about. Um, there's just migraines, 57% resolved. So there's a whole list of things that change when somebody gets healthy. That's why we do this full time now, is because it's become a passion to see people change their lives and reverse, um, honestly, things that may have ended up killing them prematurely. And so to have moms and dads and uh, grandmas and grandpas home and healthy is awesome. So that's a cool graphic that I think is eye-opening and is if there's anything on this list that you identify with or somebody you love, I want to encourage you right now that if getting a healthy to a healthy weight, getting their nutrition plan dialed in, they can see a life change. So we're going to explain. I know some of you are already clients and are on program and doing having success, and some of you are guests. We are going to quickly go through what is Optivia, what is this program Jerry used that even his feet are doing better, uh, what is this program Amy, Doug, and Jamie are doing, and we're just going to give you what kind of separates Optivia from other things that are out there, how it works, and explain it just so you understand what it is. So Kim's going to start out with the founder of it and a little bit, he's kind of got a cool backstory of why he started Octavia. So obviously this is our one of our co-founders and Dr. Wayne Scott Anderson, I've actually had the privilege of being to his house before um, and just being in the same room with him is pretty incredible. He is a highly intelligent man. Uh, when he started this program about 20 years ago, he was one of the top 10 critical care physicians in the U.S. So obviously highly respected man in the medical realm, right? Um, but as a critical care physician, his patients that came to him were so sick and he wanted to help them so desperately. Um, he actually has a heart of gold. I know some doctors do, some doctors don't, but he just had a passion to see people get healthy. Um, but as they would come to him so sick, there were some he could save and some he couldn't. And he said the most gut-wrenching part for him was having to go back to the waiting room and tell family members, I'm so sorry, I could not save your loved one, knowing, knowing that if they had just changed their nutrition, just their nutrition earlier on in life, that they would not have had to come to him. And so seeing that happen time and time again spurred something in him to want to start a program that wasn't just a diet. There was too many diets out there that could help people lose weight, but then they'd gain it back, right? So he was desperate to find something and create something that actually had lasting results. And so that's why he started Optavia. Um, so one of the things that he wanted was to have four components or some components to this program that gave it a good foundation to helping people understand what it meant to make it a lifestyle change. Sometimes you hear that thrown around, like we're gonna make it a lifestyle change, but he wanted it to stick. You know, that's very important for him. So he created these four components to give it that strong foundation, something that could be lived out as a lifestyle change. So we're gonna go through those real quick, but I liken it to a chair. You know, if you, were, if you saw a chair sitting there and has the four legs and one of the legs was taken away, would you wanna sit on it? I mean, it's probably not gonna stay up, right? Especially if you took away two legs. So with our program, the four components represent like those four legs. When you utilize all four components of our program, we have a personal health coach, we have the health community, we have the habits of health system and our feelings. When you put those four together, you have a solid program that helps you with lifelong transformation. So we're gonna break these down real quick and go over those. I'll start with the first one, your personal health coach. Um, those of you who are on program, you know, you know what your coach does for you. Pretty important, they're caring and knowledgeable. Um, they're, they have the one-on-one -on -one support and accountability. You know, when you start a health journey, 
you like I thought I could do it on my own, right? But then the first time pizza came in front of me, I was like, oh, maybe I'll start tomorrow, you know? Because I just didn't have it in me to say no on my own. And it was too easy for me to justify, well, one little piece of cake isn't gonna hurt, right? So I needed that support, that accountability, someone who's gonna check in with me. Well, when I start the when we start program, we check in with our clients for the first four nights every single night. We want to make sure you understand it. We want to make sure you're following it correctly. We want to answer any questions that you have to, you know, regarding our program so we can get you to fat burn, which we'll talk about in a minute, but get you there quickly and effectively and efficiently. So that accountability is a crucial piece. And then once you get into that fat burning state, then we check in with our clients once a week. And um, that accountability is really important to check in and say, hey, how's program going? How are we doing? Are we following it correctly? Are we following it to a T so that we can stay in that fat burning state, which is our sweet spot? I mean, that's really a great place to be. Uh, they're your guide on your health journey. They provide encouragement and support along the way. And they lead you in the habits of health system. So component two is the habits of health system. So the feelings that we're going to get to in a second, they work on your healthy body. That's what transformed Jerry and Amy and Doug and Jamie. The feelings themselves in the meal plan, that'll help you lose the weight. But if mindsets don't change, what happens? You put it right back on. And so this component's vital to working on a healthy mindset. So just while the feelings are working on your body, Embrace the habits of health system that he created and spent a lot of time. So what is it? The first thing is you, come, you get two books in your kit. There's one called the habits of health. Think of it like um, a health encyclopedia. It's got all this important knowledge. But the life book's what I love. And it's like a journal that's designed to be gone through in an entire year. That there's all these elements he put in there that teach you about yourself, what triggers you, just habits of health. And then the life book will send you over to the Habits of Health book. You'll kind of ping back and forth like, hey, go check out more about sleep, the habit of getting good sleep. And it'll send you over there and then you go back. So these work together to really start to re-educate your mind and retrain and really get understanding into how to stay healthy. Those are the two books. The third thing you get access to with the Habits of Health system is there's an app, just like everything else out there. Uh, having it on your phone is great. What's in the app? There's a meal tracker, a water tracker, there's ways to edit your order, there is um, our lean and green recipes, which I'll explain in a second. There's over 200 recipes in the app, right at your fingertips, and you can search by different kinds. So if you want chicken that night, you type in the word chicken and it'll pull up all the lean and green recipes that have chicken. If you're wanting beef or anything like that, so it's got all these cool filters. The other thing that I like in the app is if you want to make a lean and green meal for your entire family, you just change the serving size and all the ingredient ratios change to however many is in your family. So you do not have to do an algebra problem to figure out, okay, how much do I eat? It does it for you. So I already mentioned it helps you with the mindset, teaches you how to incorporate small consistent changes, and it's all geared toward lifelong transformation, one healthy habit at a time. Habits like drinking water. You want to drink half your body weight in ounces of water per day. We may not start out there. I mean, my mom got on program, she said, I think I drank 14 ounces all of last year. And uh, you want me to drink that much? So we had to stair step up to, but you know what, she got there. And a lot of trips to the restroom in the beginning, but she got there and it went on to lose 40 pounds when, with her journey. And so it is something we want to teach so that when you are at your goal weight, your habit is to drink water. It, it fuels your body. Your body loves water. You'll begin to crave it. You're going to learn habits like eating small portions spread throughout the day instead of three big meals. So that within a half hour of your feet hitting the floor, you get your metabolism going. And then you're eating every two and a half to three hours small portions. So things like that will learn, you learn in the habits of health system. The third one is our community, and the great thing is, is you guys have already started community. You're already building a great community, um, but Optavia does also have community that's provided for you. Um, so the local and virtual community, obviously Monday nights you have this here every week, which is amazing, and that's a great, you're, you're building a community around yourself here 
that supports you so you don't feel alone in this journey, right? You're, you're around people who are on that same journey and you get to hear exciting stories like you've heard already tonight so far, but just inspirational stories of, of how people's lives are changing and, and the non-scale victories, which are actually my favorite. So uh, we have a nutrition support team. We have weekly community Zooms on Monday nights at actually eight o'clock your time. Um, there's a national call that has lots of people on the Zoom. And again, it's just more inspiring stories. The leadership takes over and shares like a health related topic for the night. Uh, for about 15 minutes, we break out into some small groups on Zoom. Uh, so maybe four or five people in a group. There's usually a question that's given to you that you can um, answer in that small group time. And then we all come back together. And so you're, you're just surrounded by this community of people that are like-minded, doing the same type of thing. So it's, it's very encouraging. And then there's also a private Facebook client group. Um, in that group, you know, they do share some scale victories. They share non-scale victories. Like I said, that's my favorite. Uh, when you're hearing about people going upstairs, you know, running upstairs, whereas before they had to stop halfway and take some deep breaths and then keep going, or they can tie their shoes without having to hold their breath or have someone else tie them. I mean, those are exciting things. Those are, those are really transformational stories, but um, they do share those. They share recipes. They share tips on that Facebook group. So it's just kind of cool to see other people's journeys, where they're at, how long it took them to lose this much weight or that much weight or whatever. Um, so it's a great, a great group that you can be a part of. And really, if you think about tonight, I mean, I was even thinking, standing back there, listening to the testimonies, how inspired were you to get healthy after hearing some people share? That's the superpower of community. When you do this alone, it's much harder. But when you have a tribe of people you're contending for health with, you're motivated. And so that's a great thing that you guys not only have the virtual option, but you have this little thing going on that I think is going to just get bigger and bigger. So it's exciting. The last component. The fuelings, um, a simple program that is easy to follow. A couple of the people speaking mentioned it. How does it work? I'm going to just, we have several different plans. I'm going to go over how our most popular plan works. And if you end up doing program, Mylan will obviously customize and make sure you're doing the one that's based on how you filled out your health assessment. But just to give you a, a flavor of the most popular plan and how it works. So when you become a client, you get, you get an entire month's worth of food. We call them fuelings, because that's really what they do. They fuel your body for two and a half to three hours, and then you refuel again. So you, there's over 55 different options. So we're not one of those things where we're all bars or all shakes. You have lots of choices so that you don't get as bored with the fuelings. So you have five fuelings a day, you eat every two to three hours, and you'll have one lean and green if you're on what's called the five-in-one program. The lean and green meal is based on stuff that you would get at the grocery store, and you're going to use that little app with the recipes, or there's guidelines for here's the protein amount you can have for this type of meat, and here's the greens you can have, and here's the portion sizes. So you can either use a recipe or just the general guidelines and have your chicken and salad or whatever. There's tons of choices. I already told you over 200 choices in the app. The fueling themselves, what we like about them is they're nutrient dense. They contain, when you have five in a day, it's the equivalent of a multivitamin and probiotics are built into them and 50% of your vitamin D. So Jerry talked about uh, I loved, he said, I tried these other probiotics for my doctor, and then I get on this program and it works because my gut health is good. That's because Jerry is getting probiotics in his feelings. Okay? So when you're on program, you actually don't need to take a multivitamin. You don't need to take probiotics because it's built into your fuel. Scientifically designed, clinically proven. They're portable. They're convenient. You can have them on the go. We had them some in the airport on the way here. It's just super great because they're, they're so handy. Low glycemic, so they work really well for diabetics. They'll put you in a gentle but efficient fat burning state. So you've probably heard the term thrown around ketosis. Anybody heard that term? It's very popular. Our program will put you in a mild state of ketosis. We actually, you'll hear it talked about it at Optivia. We call it fat burn, okay? Fat burn is the magic. What happens is after three or four days of being on our program 100%, no cheating, 
um, your body will be put in a mild state of ketosis, which translates to this. It simply means your body's like, oh wow, they really pulled back on what they're giving me. So now I'm gonna use their fat cells to bring the energy back up, to fuel them. Well, how many, if you're trying to lose weight, want your body to target fat cells? And so it's targeting your fat cells, that equals 29, 30 pounds for them. Not everyone's the same. Some people, it's 10 pounds your first month. I will say this now, don't get in comparison mode in this program. You'll see people post in the Facebook group, and some people have huge weight loss the first week, and then the person that just lost three or four pounds is discouraged. When that's the that's rate their body needed to let it go. So, in one week. so everyone's at a different place, but what's happening is your body's targeting those fat cells to give you energy. When that happens, because we've helped people lose over 100 pounds, and it's cool to see them a week and say, oh my goodness, I don't remember the last time I had this kind of energy. I remember one was a teacher, and she's like, I couldn't even walk across the field at recess without being so out of breath, and I had no energy, and I was exhausted by just getting to back to my classroom. And she said, two weeks in on program, I have energy <laughs> to do this. She's like, what's happening? I'm, I have so much still to lose, but that's fat burn. The other thing that happens with fat burn is, your, when your body's in that state, your energy goes up and your cravings go down. So for people that, especially if you I have a lot. I heard that, that sounded good. A bunch of people are like, uh-huh. So <laughs> when, you are, when you've struggled with your weight or you've struggled to have your cravings go down for sweets and all those things, that's one, one more reason people have success on our program because now they have energy and the cravings are gone. Getting them to fat burn the key. That's where coaching comes in. And that's why Kim mentioned it. We call you the first four days because we're not going to sugarcoat it. The first four days, depending on how you ate coming into this, you're detoxing. You're what I call hangry, which means you're hungry and angry at the same time. So it's called hangry. Uh, and we're there every day to encourage you, to remind you why you started. Keep contending for your why. And keeping you motivated and saying, you know what? Hang in there. Fat burn's coming. Fat burn's coming. Fat burn's coming, and then when they get there, it's like, I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. Fat burn's here. So then from the, we call you the first four days, and then we call you once a week, just for FYI on how the coach support works. All right. All the feelings are nutritionally interchangeable. In other words, you could literally have the mashed potato feeling for breakfast if you want. It doesn't matter. They all have the same macronutrient blueprint. So you could eat them in any order. You can also have your lean and green at any part of the day. So you could have it first thing in the morning and make a breakfast recipe and then the rest of the day's fuelings. Or you can have fuelings, four fuelings, come home from work, have your lean and green with your family, and then have the brownie at night, uh, the Optavia brownie, and uh, finish out the day. So um, that's how the fuelings work for our program. So recap, what do you get? Your personal health coach. So just think of this in terms of if you've tried to lose weight, why this would probably potentially work for you compared to things you've done. Because most things out there are just this, yeah. aren't they? Mm -hmm. And the success rate with 25% is about a 25% success rate. Mm -hmm. But what if you add in him calling you the first four days, checking in with you once a week, cheerleading you, being there to encourage you? And here's the thing I'll say about all coaches. It's a judgment-free zone. If you fall off the bandwagon, that is not the week to avoid our call. Correct. That's the week to take it. And let's talk about it, and we're there to encourage you. The community. You get this for free. You get to show up, and then you hear about your loved one or your friend who got a bad doctor's report. You say, hey, why don't you come to this health thing with me tonight on Monday? And get them and help them change their life. You get that to stay encouraged. You get the Habits of Health Education System, the app, and all the tools and then the fuelings, which take, here's the other thing why a lot of people like this, you're not having to count a bunch of calories, measure out all these macros and all these things, they did all that for you. You literally have to make one meal a day on your own. And here's the other thing of why they do that. Because it could be overwhelming to do all the cooking and people shut down and they give up on their goals. But when they only have to do one meal a day, what Optivia is doing, it's teaching you how to cook healthy at a very slow pace so that you can learn it. 
And what we found is, by the time Kim got to her goal weight, we had all of our favorites, lean and greens. And if you think about your own cycle, whether you're on program or not, think about before program. Most people recycle the same recipes every two to three weeks. It's rinse and repeat, and then they go back and do the same things again. What happens with people in our program is they get to their goal, they go through transition, and now they're rinsing and repeating their favorite lean and greens. So they keep the weight off. It's a new habit, but it wasn't overwhelming because you learned it only one meal a day. Which we didn't mention the transition phase. But. Yeah, there is a four week transition. You get to your goal weight, Amy gets to 149. What's that look like? There's four weeks where she begins adding in things she wasn't allowed to have that would have kicked her out of fat burn. She starts phasing them in and phasing out some of the fuelings. And uh, it's a four week process where we're reintroducing foods and it's all science. So there's a reason it's introduced the week one, and then this week you get to have this, and this week you get to have this. So that's what transition looks like. And then maintenance, there's a, a TEE calculator we give you, total energy expenditure, where you can figure out, okay, how many calories should I have now going forward now that I'm at my goal. And here's the other thing is, I mean, even us, when you get to your goal, it doesn't mean you can't order feelings anymore. We're not on five and one, but I still have one or two feelings a day. That's convenient, and I know it's fueling got me. Great fuel. <laughs> so you can always have feelings, but a question we get is, well, am I going to be on this forever? And the answer is no, you don't have to be. You can go through transition and be completely off. We found a lot of people still have one or two a day because it's just convenient to grab a bar and take it to work. So and the brownie's good. Yeah. They're good. Here's the questions to ask yourself if you're somebody sitting here thinking, well, I wonder if I could do this. Here's what I would like to ask you. Can you eat every two to three hours? Because you need to on this program. It's not a non-negotiable. Our feelings aren't huge, just FYI. Small you can portion. down a bar or shake quickly or whatever you grab. Can you drink lots of water or can you work your way up if you're like my mom? Okay. Can you get there? Do you want the support of someone who's gone through this before? Do you want to reach your health goals and change your life for yourself and those that love you? And are you ready to get started? I think the thing I like to encourage people with is don't just think about you when you're even talking about your health. Think about who would benefit by you getting healthy. Who gets their grandpa back or their dad or the mom or the cousin or the wife? Like we've just seen such a ripple effect that you contending for your health it's great even for you, but actually what you don't see is all the people you might inspire and uh, all the people that will be blessed by you going after your health. Okay, what does this cost? I think people, that's what people want to know as well. So it's normally $4.45 for your first month's kit with the books. You obviously have to get the books once. Um, for people that came tonight or as a result of this event, we're going to give you $50 off. Um, if you order in the next 48 hours and you say, I want to get on program, um, we'll give you $50 off, which makes your total $395 in tax. What, is this in, what does it include? It includes your first month of food, the books, your own health coach, the private Facebook group, the weekly community Zooms, and it's all for less than $14 a day. What I want you to think about now, and we've actually had a, it's been a much easier time when we get to cost since the uh, entire country has gone through inflation. Because I would love for you to actually do the math of everything that crosses your lips in a day and tell me if you could do that for $14 a day. If you go to eat out, even if, I don't know if you have a Chick-fil-A around here or whatever. But like, oh, come on, <laughs> We do have them in the dining out guide. So. Yeah, it is in the dining out guide. You can get yeah. a leading green there, actually. So, so there, if you think about even a Chick-fil-A, just one meal is 10 or 11 easy. Um, just for one meal, you get all five. I think even at like, McDonald's, if I remember right, it's about eight or nine dollars a meal. So, like, you know, yeah. So, it's pretty I think what you have to translate, and I like to help people because if you really want to get healthy, I don't want this kind of thing to be an obstacle because it shouldn't be. So, I have to help you deconstruct the price and think. This is not saying. Here's another $395 bill to add to your budget. This is saying take money you're already spending on food because we all have to eat, right? Take money you're already spending on food and we're going to reroute it over here to something that's going to change your life. 
and get healthy? Is it worth the investment? The only difference is this is an upfront cost, whereas you're paying weekly. But if you can get over that hurdle, it's, we've had, I can't even tell you how many, and I'm not exaggerating, so many clients, even that sometimes resisted, well, I don't know if I can afford it, come back and say, oh my goodness, we saved so much money on program. Because you don't think about the gas station, the movie theater popcorn, the break room, the vending machine, Starbucks, all and that stuff. Stands for One couple that was didn't think they could afford it came back and he said, I just wanted to give you this report in case you wanted to tell other people. My wife and I saved $700 on our grocery bill by being on program. Mm -hmm. And they did it together. So I'm just throwing that out there. I know everybody's situation is different. But with the price of grocery, the price of eggs alone, <laughs> uh, it's so expensive that having all this done ahead of time, and you still do need to remember, you pay for one meal a day, your lean and green. That's not included. So you pay for that part. But that's what you probably have with your family anyway. This is everything else that crosses your lips for the day is um, the 395. So if you wanted to get started, how do you get started? So everybody should have gotten a card or they're all on the table, it looks like. This top one, just fill out your information and check, I'm learned, interested in learning more about the optimal program. What will happen next is Mylan will text you or call you or whatever, email you, whatever's on here, your, his health assessment. And you'll fill that out, it's an online health assessment. And then once he gets that, it'll shoot him an email with your health assessment, and then he'll call you and set up a time to talk, to go over the health assessment and to see which plan would be a good fit for your goals. So it's as simple as that. If you do it in the next 48 hours, we'll throw on the $50 as well. So I think that's it. Milo's going to close us out. I had to go ahead and throw his before and after, uh, dropping, what was it, 40 pounds? Yep. 40 pounds. So Milo, take it over. All right. So here's what we'd like to do. Um, you, you guys have the cards, and actually, um, on a weekly basis, we have a little sign-in sheet for people, but tonight, since we're doing a drawing, um, I'd like everybody to fill out a card, if you would, and, um, and just check whatever. I'm going to give you just a couple of minutes. I'm going to yap on for a, a couple of minutes. You guys can fill out the cards. Um, and then we're going to collect all these cards, and then we're going to do a drawing. So, And if you're already on program, you could you could uh, still win uh, some things. So um, even if you're on program, go ahead and do that. So um, one of the things that I wanted to share just a little bit before we go is a little bit of my vision for this thing on Monday nights. Now I know not, not only do, we, we, we have a tendency to look at all the different things and go, do I have money for this? Do I have time for this? Do I have, do I have, do I, can I, can I put more in? And I don't expect people to come here every Monday night but here's what we do want to cre create. We want to create a safe place where people can come once a month, twice a month, maybe every week, depending on the individual, what you're looking for. But we want to build um, some momentum with a movement in this community uh, toward health. We've got all kinds of ideas, all kinds of ideas about ways that we can, we can um, not only encourage, but help people to eat healthier. Um, we have blueberry growers right here in the room that can hook us up with really healthy food. Um, we got things like that. We also have um, ideas about, like literally, I would like to go to the restaurants, some of the, the restaurants in town that we all love, and say, we have 300 people in this community who are doing this program. It would be to your best interest to put three or four lean and green items on your menu. Yeah. And we'll direct people to your restaurant and say, when, when, you know, when you want to go out to eat with family and friends and different individuals, there's items on your menu that can, that can work with the program that they're on. They can stay healthy or get healthy and still eat at your restaurant. Um, we want to, I've already talked to Scott Smith, the mayor. We've um, talked about different ways that we can engage with the community parks program and some different things. I'm going to be starting some actual fitness stuff in the spring. So in, in, my, in, in my view, I see this as something that can grow, that we can literally share with this community. And, and I know it's like anything else. Not everybody's going to jump on board. But I've got to believe that every single one of us in this room know three to four people, and they all know three to four people who think regularly about their health, who are saying, you know what, I really need to do something. 
I really need to make a change. And with every single one of us in the room getting older every day, you think about that? We all get older every day. Um, I can tell you that when you reach certain milestones, 40 or 50 or 60, you start thinking about that stuff a lot more. And we want to be there for those people to say, all right, I'm ready to take back my health. I want to do something different. We want to be there for them. Okay?